Hold on, Johnny! Get on my horse! They're gonna surround us again. Let's get out of here. Sir. Us. Surround. Surround us? Let me tell you something about myself. Me. Johnny. Born Jonathan Joestar. I was born and raised in Danville, Kentucky. The Joestar family used to be aristocrats before they fell into ruin. But my father was wealthy. He was the owner of several farms. He was the seven time winner of the Triple Crown, a top notch horse race. Because of my father's work, there was a time in my childhood when I spent several years in England. Jonathan, what are you doing under the table? Raise your left hand. Listen, Jonathan, not limited to dining manners are an indication of reverence towards the people around you. Englishmen especially value table manners. Do you want everybody to think we are a group of uneducated, uncultured American countrymen? What are you hiding in your pocket? Show me. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, Father. I, I was just... He, he was so cute, and I couldn't. I didn't tell you to apologize, Jonathan. I told you to show me. Dinner is over. Jonathan, go to your room immediately. But first, you must drown that thing in the lake. Understood? Uh, but, 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 you said I could keep him. You, you promised. Don't change the subject. You are the one who broke our promise. I said that you could keep it. Granted that you keep it in a cage. Are you calling me a liar? You must dispose of it yourself. Do you understand, Jonathan? Go. <laughs> I had a brother, five years my elder, named Nicholas. What are you going to do, Johnny? Are you going to drown it? it, it it's all my fault, but, but I can't. I can't drown Danny. I can't do it. But we can't keep that mouse in our place anymore, Johnny. Uh, oh. Listen, I have an idea. How about we let Danny go in the woods? You can do that, right? I'm sure Danny will be fine on his own in the woods. I, I, I can't. Dad will definitely tell me to, to give him proof that I drowned Danny. He'll definitely ask to see his corpse. That's easy enough. You know how they have those stuffed mice in our school's science rooms? They have birds and even foxes, too. Tomorrow I'll ask my teacher to let me borrow one of a white mouse. If you show that to Dad, he'll believe it's Danny. I can't believe that he'd open it up to see if you'd actually drowned it or not. Actually, he would do something like that, wouldn't he? <laughs> he'd flip out if he cut it open and all the stuffing came out. Yeah. Nicholas! Th thanks! You're, you're so smart, big bro! The teacher will definitely give you the mouse, too, because you're such a good student. Y y yeah But Johnny, can you really let Danny go? Wow, Nicholas! He's amazing! If I tell him to run 200 meters in 17 seconds, he'll do it in exactly 17 seconds! I told him to do the next 200 meters in 23 seconds, and then 19 seconds, but he always gets it exactly! He's never been 0 0.0000001 of a second late! How does he do that? That's so cool. Do you think that I could do that too? Hmm. Well, it all depends on your determination and hard work. But that Nicholas is a special case. He's always had an expert sense of time. He was born with it. Your father doesn't have that ability. So that's why he chose. To become a trainer instead. 
Who's that? Hmm? Ah, uh, a big horse, huh? Its name is Black Rose. It's a bit sensitive, but your brother is going to ride it in his next tournament. He'll definitely win, for sure. No, I mean, the kid who's leading the horse with Dad. Oh, he was Diego B. Some kid named Dio. He's got some promise, so they're letting him work here as a heart walker. Nicholas is really amazing. He can control such a huge horse perfectly. His control is no different than when we were riding that other horse. You're good at everything, Nicholas. Maybe I'm not your real brother. We don't even look alike. Listen, Johnny. You're so young. No matter what Dad says, when you get a little older, I'll teach you how to ride. I promise. Then we can ride around the world together, helping each other through hard times. Nicholas! Nicholas! The doctor! Someone call a doctor! What happened? Ah! What the hell just happened? I saw a mouse scuttling near the horse's legs. It, it ran off into the woods. The black rose was startled by a white mouse. Breathe. Oh, God. Please, keep on breathing. Please. Someone hurry up and get a doctor. Nicholas! Nicholas! Oh. Ugh. What are you doing in here, Jonathan? Oh, well, father, you were home? Well, um, my riding boot... The bottom was falling off. I think the quality was bad. So I thought I could borrow one of these. I see. But you must return those boots to the closet. That's Nicholas's closet. And those are Nicholas's riding boots. Yes, I know that. But I don't have a pair of spare boots. Only this one. And my feet are the same size as what Nicholas used to be now. Perhaps you didn't know the hole in the bottom of your boots because you weren't taking care of them properly. That is your responsibility. Yes, I see your point, but I have an important tournament today. I promise you that I'll win. Win? That's strange. Winning means you'll be number one. Dio won't be running in today's race. Even if you win, can that really be considered a victory? Don't get so cocky. You've never beaten Dio, have you? Nicholas, he was far superior to someone like that Dio. Please, I don't have time to find another pair. Please let me borrow these boots. No, you have no right to use Nicholas's things. Put them back. What? What is it, Dad? You're always talking about Nicholas this, Nicholas that. My brother died seven years ago. I'm the one that's going to be in the race today. Please, please come watch my race today. I'll win for you. Just put Nicholas's boots back in the closet, Jonathan. No. What? These are just old boots. They're just objects. I'm going to enter today's race wearing these boots. Are you going to insult your own brother? Give them to me. S stop. Let go. Let go. Damn it. Just let go. Get the fuck off. <laughs> ah! <sighs> oh, God. God, you took the wrong son. What? Get out. Dad, you're not you... welcome here anymore. What did you just Get say? Out! Fine. If you're gonna be that way, I'm not gonna trust anyone. I'll do fine on my own. 
A mouse scuttled near Black Rose's legs. A white mouse. Where did that mouse come from? Was it really there? Yes, and it probably did pass in front of Nicholas's horse. The white mouse, the one I let go instead of drowning like I was told. There was no mistake, Danny had come back. God had made a mistake, it wasn't supposed to be my brother, it should have been me who was taken. I should have been the one to die. That's why I had to pay the price. Someday, fate would catch up to me. Bit by bit, fate would come and surround me directly and it would blind me so I couldn't escape. I would have an inch of hope, a moment of happiness, and everyone would abandon me in the end. No one would even be concerned for me. Everyone would leave. They wouldn't even glance back. Not like me. Jairo, that's what you just said just now. No, this is me. This is the path that I'm walking. Right now, I feel the same as I did when I thought about the mouse. There's something that I can't see surrounding me, quietly threatening to catch up with me. I can't beat it with something like my nail bullets. My standability doesn't stand a chance against this thing. It threw its pieces? Whoa! Ow! Ow! He's here, in the cornfield. He's running through the fields, the user. Dio's just lending his dinosaurs to that guy, as a tool. This ability is definitely not Dio's. Its range must be several meters. This stand doesn't destroy whatever these dinosaurs touch. It sends out a signal, and it destroys what's at the end of the signal. It works like sound. Like how a sound travels. It doesn't destroy our horse on impact. It travels through it until it reaches our bodies. Well, Valkyrie's gonna go down too if we keep this up. Damn it, we're in deep shit. Wasn't Hot Pants around here somewhere? Go find Hot Pants. I need him to fix his leg with a spray. It's bleeding like crazy. I can't. There's no time for that. There are even more of these monsters now, and what the hell? Some of them are flying towards us, and we're gonna hit the Mississippi River soon. Sh shit, this is bad. The river's going to be a dead end for us. It's no use. They're gonna catch up. They're here. Jairo doesn't have a steel ball with him right now, and my nail bullets are powerless against them. Surrounded. I've been surrounded. They've caught up to me. Johnny, we're, we're gonna ditch our horses. Our horses can cross the river on their own. To save Valkyrie, I'm gonna let go. What? Jump, jump. Jump off, Johnny. Jump. Dig, dig. Uh, Johnny, get out of the mud. What the? Ah! My fingers are burning! Gyro! It was a good idea to burrow under the mud to scatter the sounds. But these... These are different. My mouth... Is... Just... Huh? Ah! My eyes! My eyelids caught on fire! These monsters aren't limited to just cutting or stabbing. They also have the ability to burn. If we stay under the mud, Gyro... They'll eventually burn us alive from the inside out. This... This was what he was planning. It's almost as if he had known that we would burrow under the mud. He must have other abilities as well. It's as if the sounds... The different sounds have us completely surrounded. He... He'd already trapped us. Hey Johnny. You know, you're really getting on my nerves. Don't just spew whatever you're thinking out of your goddamn mouth. I don't have my steel balls this, and you can't win with your nail bullets that. Are you underestimating my rotations? Are you looking down on the 250 years of this Pelly family's history? What I've taught you is still just the basics. Huh? Pay your respects. I'll teach you the next step in rotations. Lesson four. Probably. I've got no choice. We're cornered, so I have to teach you. 
What? Uh, another level? The saying goes that something cannot be born from nothing, but that is only a hypothetical statement. In recent scientific studies, there have been cases where subatomic particles, tiny particles, have been born from what is deemed nothing, a scientific vacuum, and this energy can disappear as quickly as it can appear, and those subatomic particles have the ability to be suddenly converted into energy. Apparently, concepts such as gravity and mass are born from this principle. In short, something can be born from nothing, and nothing is equivalent to possibility. This idea of subatomic particles is not restrained only to the field of space, but it happens all of the time on our own planet within our daily lives. With that as the introductory concept, in this story, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, the spiritual energy that some humans have to draw on is called stands. For our purposes, this invisible spirit energy is expressed through visual depictions. For example, they can be shown as such. They can be shown as a character of their own, which appears behind the user, human or animal. When they punch an object, things can be destroyed. Stands adhere to some rules, like the following. Stands move according to their user's wishes or commands. Stands can only be affected by other stands. When stands are injured, their user is also injured in the same place. When a stand user dies, their stand disappears with them. Consequently, when a stand is defeated, their user dies. A stand's energy or power is inversely proportional to their range of operation. The closer the stand is to their user, the more powerful, precise, and fast it is. But the further away the stand goes, the weaker, slower, and less precise its movements become. Therefore, there are such things as smart or stupid ways to use one stand. Stands can be inherited. There can only be one stand to one user. Depending on the user, a stand has the ability to evolve. Our predecessors, with their wisdom, created tools that have the ability to draw out these stands. Whether they were able to do this through their intelligence or through sheer chance is unknown. And like the Ripple from Phantom Blood and the Steel Balls from Steel Ball Run, these abilities can be said to be a step towards achieving the ultimate goal of a stand. Let's go.